back, Shell Squad. Today we have an informative video, we got updates, and we have a special guest for you. Uh, but the question of the day is, well, it's how do turtles breathe and that turtles can breathe out of their butt. I'll explain more in a minute. But while I talk about this, let's go ahead and feed these little guys here. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video on these guys. Um, they hatched and they're in there somewhere. As you can see, let me see if we can see. Oh, I see them. Okay, so uh, we're going to keep them nice and toasty in this little bin and we're gonna get them uh, the first time in the water is gonna be um, actually right now but on a different video hey ginger and ginger came to join us today all right let's just go ahead and give these guys a little bit of food here uh, so uh, let's talk about turtles breathing uh, so turtles breathe through their lungs yes they have lungs and they can drown um, which is some of the horror stories you, you, you hear about um, because they, they can drown in fairly easy, um, as a matter of fact. Um, they breathe through their nose, uh, so whenever they have any type of respiratory infection going on, especially in the nose, um, it can definitely cause a lot of issues for turtles breathing. So when you see the mouth breathing, that is a very bad sign. And so let me give you a quick anatomy lesson here. So their lungs are located, this top part of the shell is called the carapace. And the lungs are uh, are located right underneath this carapace and uh, both and underneath this uh, spinal uh, area. So if you look at it sideways, the lungs are pretty much along these scutes and all the way up to the top of the shell. <laughs> Oops. So turtles don't have a flexible rib cage like we do. They have this hard outer shell. Uh, so because of that, they breathe a little bit differently with their lungs than we do. They have these sheet muscles located uh, along the inside of their shell, uh, which force air in and out of their lungs. The most interesting way uh, turtles breathe is through their butt. Uh, yes, turtles breathe out of their butt, um, not typically during when it's warm. Um, they'll use their lungs for that uh, because their butt breathing isn't very efficient. So, and it's called cloacal respiration. Uh, it's not really breathing. Uh, cloacal respiration is more of kind of diffusing oxygen in and carbon dioxide out. Uh, diffusion is when something naturally goes from a higher concentration to a lower concentration. Uh, so that's kind of how it works. They have their butt region and they protrude it out a little bit. And um, that is enough to uh, for them enough gas exchange for them and this is for the very cold weathers uh, if you live in like a tropical area and you have turtles they're probably never going to do cloacal respiration i have no idea if you know let me know in the comments below in fact if you have any experience with turtles breathing out of their butts um, underwater please let us know in the comments below as well to demonstrate the cloacal respiration uh, we're going to pretend that this piece here that's holding all the water inside is the anus. And this little area that connects to the anus is the cloaca. And there's also obviously other stuff. But uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put some um, dye in the water. And we're going to see exactly how this will work. All right, so let's put some dye. You can see the cloaca absorbs some of the water and it's absorbing all the oxygen, and then it spits all the oxygen back out and it gets new oxygen in the water back in. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... So as long as the water's moving, then the turtles should be able to... Um, uh, the turtles should be able to get new oxygenated water each time. Uh, but if the water's stagnant, then um, this ability doesn't work very well. So a turtle breathing out of its butt can be its main source of oxygen while brumating or hibernating, if you will, um, in the very cold temperatures. Uh, so as temperatures drop, so does the internal body temperature of the turtle and the uh, turtle's metabolism. And which means also their oxygen needs is usually enough to keep them alive until spring. So it just hasn't moved at all because <laughs> she's just like scared. Uh, so we got them out of the incubator and these turtles just, they really um, 
I haven't been out very often unless it's for you guys. Oh, and our special guest just arrived. Who do we got? Oh, well, Sophie doesn't stop. Uh, we have Rocky. Uh, for those of you that know, we have this Eastern box turtle. We had a bunch of issues uh, <laughs> with the shell when in, uh, well, we call him Rocky, but let, let me let me show you something. He can possibly be a she. So looking more like a she, but Rocky's keeping her name. It's going to be Rocky. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, we've had Rocky since a hatchling. Rocky's done uh, very well for us and grown very fast in the last two years for us. Rocky is Sophia's first box turtle. And for some reason, when we hold Rocky, Rocky thinks he's flying. See? <laughs> Rocky always thinks he's flying everywhere he goes. <laughs> Please consider subscribing to our channel, uh, show the community a little bit of support, and uh, check out the next video uh, we are about to record. Uh, we're about to get these baby turtles that just hatched. Uh, we're going to take a look at them, and we're going to see what they look like in, in the water. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching, guys. And, and shell, shell out, Shell Squad. Shell squad.